now we are going to uh, implement our design in FPGA so we have connected our FPGA now go to implementation uh, select the uh, project Yeah, uh, before going implementation steps, we have to move on the implementation part instead of simulation. Uh, I I was finding and I was trying to find uh, uh, the, the steps which is used in implementation, and we are unable to see. Uh, so because uh, we have already selected uh, simulation, so we have to move on the implementation part. Uh, yeah, we have moved on implementation. I selected one implementation now uh, first of all uh, we have to generate a uh, user constraint that is ucf files in ucf file uh, basically uh, which input and output ports of fpg is going to use uh, have to assign in our uh, uh, tool that is in our program as uh, for example we are going to use uh, here 7 output pins uh, and 4 input pins uh, so uh, th uh, before uh, so we have to find a proper uh, output ports uh, and input ports uh, but uh, how can we do this in UCF we have to uh, assign a, a site for every uh, input or output ports uh, for doing this we have to go in IO pin planning plan ahead uh, post synthesis uh, see here uh, here is a pre synthesis and uh, second one is post synthesis we have to go on post synthesis uh, so go to post synthesis yeah it will take some time uh, so we have to wait for some time Yeah, its plan ahead is being initiated. Initializing. It is being initialized. There are various steps in this, uh, so it is taking time. As loading device or very distance is going on. So close this window, come on the scalar port. Here, see here all the LAT, LUTs here, uh, which we are going to use or uh, we may use. Uh, so come on the scalar ports in this window uh, where IO port basically this window is IO port. Yeah. Uh, come on the scalar ports uh, expand this yeah and we can see here uh, all the outputs for input ports is here uh, and, uh, for example uh, for this uh, a b c d e f g up to g output ports and p q r uh, and as is input ports yeah this is direction port uh, and in this column site in this column we have to mention the uh, proper uh, location uh, a proper site uh, which is uh, given in FPGA uh, there are some uh, ports which uh, sites is uh, directly uh, written on the FPGA but uh, some uh, sites for P mode is not written uh, it is not possible to write all the ports name in the FPGA in a smaller space uh, so we have to refer its uh, user manual uh, for Digiland, it is a Digiland uh, access tree. Uh, it comes with a uh, the PDF files in which all the ports side side given. We have to uh, refer uh, uh, that PDF also uh, for uh, taking our input pins. Yeah, input we are going to take uh, the slide switch as an input uh, in uh, the one state of the input. Uh, so, uh, 
she here mm. uh, 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 in a uh, every switch uh, uh, a number is written inside the bracket uh, for example here t5 uh, it is t5 for first second for v8 third for u8 uh, for for n8 fifth m8 6 vn v9 7th t9 8th is t10 first switch is our first switch is t5 so insert t5 okay uh, no 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 uh, this one is not a uh, output uh, so uh, input 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 e q r our s is lsb so i am going to assign from lsb we are going to first switch assign t5 we have assigned it t5 uh, our lsb is t5 so first switch in the board uh, then uh, next one is v8 yeah. uh, next to next is u8 it is u8 yeah uh, and msp that is p uh, p we are going to assign now fourth switch and its uh, side is and it so enter and it yeah we have done our uh, input and now output outputs for outputs uh, we are going to use uh, p mode I will show you from where I have taken the addresses. Uh, so uh, for a for a I'm its address is uh, g11 for b it's f10 uh, for c it's f11 for d it's e11 e it's d12 now f for f it is c12 and for G, it is F12. Yeah. I have assigned all the input output port sites. Uh, Resting from uh, our FPG and uh, some uh, then output ports uh, referred from uh, our PDF along with this FPG gate. Uh, take the overview. Of uh, this FPG uh, PDF manual, uh, uh, here uh, written all the details of this. It uh, see this uh, board F F pattern section XS3 and all these peripherals are typed in this. FPG. Yeah, see here uh, slide switches as indicated uh, and uh, above the flight you see there are lots of LEDs and it's uh, the site is given also as for it is clearly visible in this T11, R11, N11 yeah. uh, these are the sites of these LEDs and crowdfunding uh, if you are seeing um, this switches uh, flight switches then uh, here T5, V6 uh, u8 and and something we have already used uh, in the uh, fear uh, so we have used these four uh, switches as input and uh, for output we have assigned uh, the p modes these are the p modes yeah p mode connectors okay these are the p modes uh, here there is four p modes namely p mode a p mode b p mode c and p mode d 
uh, its name is uh, written on the FPG board uh, that is in JA1, JB1, JC1 and JD1 uh, so D1 indicating that uh, it is uh, DP mode uh, in, uh, site is given in this PDF later on I'm just showing you There are every details of this FPG is almost covered in this video. Uh, so while uh, you are trying to implement your design in this FPG, you have to read this video uh, for better understanding. Yeah, Nexus 3 memory bus signals assignment. Yeah, this is not we are trying to see. Uh, so There are too many peripherals which we can attach from this FPGA uh, as uh, VGA um, uh, monitors, uh, PS2 keyboards, a mouse, etc. So you can write your codes and uh, for the uh, implementing a different type of yeah. Actually, this uh, I am searching remote connectors. See remote connectors. Uh, this remote connectors having uh, two into six right angles, hundred millimeter female connectors. See here, hundred mm twelve connectors. Uh, in this, in this twelve connectors, uh, these red two ones is for VCC and uh, blue uh, blue ones for the ground. Uh, this red one is giving 3.3 volt uh, you may directly use three point, this 3.3 uh, volt for uh, glowing your uh, LED uh, for transformer display uh, if you are using a uh, common anode type of transformer uh, display then you have to use uh, this one that is VCC common and if you are uh, going to use uh, the common cathode then uh, you have to connect this ground to the common pin and uh, uh, other these uh, data pins uh, for uh, reflecting the uh, specific seven seven display LED yeah uh, it's uh, the pin one is right top most and numbing is going on uh, right to left that is pin 1 to pin 6 on top and starting from uh, here pin, uh, pin 7 to pin 12 uh, we are going to use for data p1 to p4 then uh, p7 to p7 p8 p9 p10 to p10 yeah. uh, we are uh, need only uh, uh, 7 pins not 8 so we have left the uh, P10 we are going to use P1, P2, P3, P4 uh, that is J, uh, pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6 and pin 7 only and uh, let's say it is given here yeah see see uh, here uh, these all sites are for uh, uh, we have uh, we just told you that there are 4 pin modes a b c and d we are going to use d uh, so we will use these sides uh, this will be for uh, pin 1 that is jd1 jd2 jd3 JD, jd4 upper uh, upper upper pinch side and uh, j5 and j6 is uh, jd5 and jd6 is not here because uh, we need not uh, anywhere need uh, we are not required to assign the address of this uh, pin so directly uh, now p7 p8 p9 pin 10 uh, we have uh, inserted the uh, these sites already in the our code uh, i have referred from here and uh, you can uh, if you want to use another sites you may use sites from this video yeah so come to again yeah we have done our ucf so we may close it or minimize it. Yeah, better minimize. Yeah. We have done our UCF. We have saved it. Now uh, move to the 
implement design started implement design uh, you may see here in the implement design we have three process uh, first one is translate then map then place and route uh, these are basically uh, uh, we can resemble these steps like float planning placement and routing uh, so we have translation uh, translate is done map mapping is being mapping has done and placement and routing is going on uh, basically in this stage uh, translate means floor planning we have uh, uh, floor plan our uh, fpg is and mapping its placement and uh, the place and route is uh, in this step we will uh, try to place all the uh, the blocks in such a way that our uh, the wire length would be minimum for that our uh, the delay will be uh, lesser and lesser uh, in order to uh, minimize our uh, the, um, delay uh, so that our performance speed of the, uh, the design will be more faster and faster uh, so we have done our implement design and now we have to move the uh, generate programming files yeah if you, uh, you guys have worked with uh, uh, microcontrollers then uh, uh, you have done there with, uh, with uh, first of all you are coding in uh, fmd or uh, or embedded c after that you are uh, generating a hex file to burn on the fpg in a similar way here we are uh, generating a bit file there is hack file here we are uh, generating bit file in the generating programming files we are generating basically bit files so start generate programming file yeah, <coughs> yeah done so generating pro uh, programming file done now move to the configure target configure target device yeah. okay yeah, do boundary scan double click on this right click to add device in uh, or initialize jet action right click on this area and initialize chain okay yeah there is some message identify succeeded that is our device has identified uh, close this window no use yeah right click here click on the gyrings uh, in this area and uh, give and browse your uh, bit file here I have gyrings or project name was 7 segment 2 so open 7 segment 2 uh, yeah inside this we have a bit file and that is seven segment display underscore driver dot v yeah uh, which have uh, in this file is generated uh, as per our uh, module name uh, dot bit yeah so select this one select this one and open yeah now do you want to attach the spi or uh, bpi prompt to this device we need not we are not required for FBI so no. and finally right click on this and go to program yeah ok executing commands now oh, this is the final stage and, uh, and done it's done program succeeded that is done uh, so now our FPGA should work as we have uh, coded it or implemented 
put it out here let's check it uh, so uh, pin a is pin number two yeah pin a is connected to uh, the upper part of the pin 2 that is pin B so connected pin B uh, then uh, pin C uh, pin C is the this one yeah pin C connected pin C then pin D or pin E D pin D is this one four pin in upper side yeah pin e from lower side left pin e uh, then pin f uh, pin f is this one yeah serially we have to connect as we have cited it pin F then we have pin G yeah we have done all the connections of this 7 segment display uh, with the FPGA uh, here uh, we are using DP mode uh, and these switches uh, for the inputs uh, here uh, last one is uh, for, uh, for our LFB and middle one is for MFB for initially all the switches are in uh, off state that is in state of 0 uh, so uh, our input is 0 0 0 0 it should be uh, output on L7 segment display is 0 it is already 0 it is ok now change let's change the uh, input set of input and now make it 0 0 0 1 so change the position of la, uh, LFB 0 to 1 yeah now our input is 0 0 0 1 so its output should be 1 yeah uh, see here in 7 segment display it is displaying 1 now uh, to make it combination uh, 0 0 1 0 that is 2 yeah see here it is 2 now make the combination uh, 0 0 1 1 that is 0 0 1 1 now it is displaying 3 uh, make the combination 0 1 0 0 yeah see here it is displaying uh, 4 uh, now uh, to make the combination 0 1 0 1 yeah that is 5 uh, in our uh, 7 segment display it is 5 uh, now make the combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 that is 6 see the output on 7 segment display it is 6 now make the combination uh, 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 uh, output should be 7 that is 7 now make the combination 1 0 0 0 it is 1 uh, 0 0 0 uh, it is 8 uh, see the 7 segment display it is displaying 8 now make the combination 1 0 0 1 yeah uh, it is 9 it is displaying 9 uh, so uh, here we have displayed 0 to 9 uh, in the 7 segment display uh, as a set of uh, 4 inputs uh, so um, our m um, has been completed uh, fulfilled